Cafe's Fashion Friday. Today, a New Year's resolution you've probably never even considered. I love this one. How about a fashion resolution or revolution? Our next guest says it's like any resolution that sticks. It'll take diligence, focus, and consistency, mm -hmm. but the payoff is less stress, and you'll look great every day of the new year. Everybody wants that. Faye Wetzel owns two women's boutiques, one in Mequon, the other in Brookfield. She's here to teach us how to do it. Good to see you. Oh, You've you say never look considered a fashion resolution? No. I need to. Well, we as you know, it. here we go. All here right. People go. have been to my closet, so they know this is what I need. And by the way, if you say anything funny today, yes. we've got oh, people. I know, I know. Yeah. So, come on. Come on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> how Paul on that camera? I know. He's like, we're back and forth. Um, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Good, yeah, great wonderful. to see you. Let's, let's talk it. about you got 10, so let's go ahead and start. And kind of the reason I wanted to do this, these are not absolutes, but a really heartbreaking thing about my business, and I don't use that term lightly, a really heartbreaking thing about my business is how much women obsess about their clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And not in a good way, but you know, just really, oh my God, what am I going to wear? Do I have the right thing? Am I dressed right? Do I look okay? Do I? Very stressful. Makes, makes me really sad. Mm -hmm. So. Here's some really simple rules. Your okay. first one is, is, is heartbreaking for me because you're going to say wear only what you love. Mm -hmm. And I, mm -hmm. th most of the stuff I wear, I don't love. And um, I wonder if you'd follow it up too with, okay, if you're wearing only what you love and you get your closet down to a mm -hmm. really small amount of stuff, what do you do with the other stuff? Because maybe it's not in bad shape or mm -hmm. it's not something you're going to throw away. You donate it or you consign it. I mean, really easy. Period. Really easy. Really easy. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you guys have a special challenge in that you have to wear a lot of different clothes. Right. So, you know, sometimes you probably are wearing something that you're not love, 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 love. But still, it can't be something like, oh my God, I cannot wait till this segment is over because I want this off. <laughs> How often do we say that, though? Every morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're only what you love. And I think the hard part about that is you, you get rid of all this stuff and you think, well, now I'm going to have to replace it. How does price play into this well, resolution? Well, and this is a really dangerous time of year because it's sale time. And mm -hmm. at phase, we're 75% off fall and winter. Ooh. I mean, that's really dangerous because everything is really dirt cheap. But price should not be the only criterion by any stretch of the imagination. I say if you can't think of three things currently in your closet that you can wear your sale item with, mm -hmm. or you can't think of three places that you can wear it comfortably and like love that. it, then leave it. Okay. okay. That's good. How much time, because you say we should spend time in our closet every day. Mm -hmm. Well, I like that because then it's not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I don't like that, you know, one Saturday every season or every, you know, t twice a year in your closet. I don't like that. That's overwhelming. That's crazy. That makes sure. me nuts. But if you spend five minutes in your closet every day just doing a little chore, you can get to the point where you're not organizing your closet, you're not cleaning it, you're curating it. Yeah. I love curating. that one. Yes. I like that one. Too. I like that one, too. Okay, the rule of three, what is that? My rule of three. You never wear... Mm -hmm. a, just a top and a pair of pants. So you never Oops. wear like a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. You always have that third piece, which is like a jacket or a scarf or even a statement necklace, okay. which takes it from two pieces to an ensemble. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Ensemble and ensemble. curating. Like you have some one. good words. You say take really good care of your shoes and your handbags. Someone once asked me what was the worst fashion mistake a woman could make. And she sort of caught me off guard because I'd never thought of it. But my answer came really quickly, and that was you need to take care of your shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, when I see women that have the heel tips off or just, you know, it doesn't have to be the latest shoe, but it has to be an updated shoe, mm -hmm. and it has to look good. It can't, this time of year, salt on yep. shoes, you know, that kind of thing. So every night, wipe your shoes off, use a leather cleaner and conditioner. Once in a while, polish them yourself or have them professionally polished when you go to the airport. Let those guys polish your shoes. Mm -hmm. What a treat. Yep. Right? Yep. That's but a people great point. do people also judge you by shoes and purses. Hey, that's you, very know, you could true. wear you could wear a full outfit discounted or from a no name place or whatever, but if you have a nice handbag or you've got a nice pair of shoes, mm -hmm. people think you're really put together. If you have the it bag, you are the it girl. You are, yeah, it's so true. Are, uh -huh. Yeah. They're so expensive, but they're so fantastic. Mm -hmm. You also yeah. say to subscribe to a fashion newsletter. Why is that important? I Especially think that's if you don't important. love fashion. Well, but that's a really good reason. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I'm kind of the same way. I get in style every month, and when it comes, it's a little bit overwhelming. I'm it like, is. oh my God, I don't have time to read this. I got so all this thick. other stuff. To, it's so thick. But then I'm like, all right, Faye, sit down. So I sit down and I start to page, and I get really engaged. And, you know, even I think, you know, my, my eye is maybe, you know, evolved, and then I look at this and I say, oh, that's how the customer could wear that. Or I could mm. explain it this way. Or, oh, that makes sense to me. Or sometimes, oh, I never thought of wearing my piece like that. 
or those so colors together. Or those colors together. So it really does kind of go from onerous or I hate fashion to oh, you know what, this is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I like this. Mm -hmm. So The other thing you say is, because we're running out of time, decide tomorrow's ensemble before bedtime tonight. Tiffany and I do this most of the time. Mm -hmm. We have a much I better day time, if we true. do that the Isn't night before. Because otherwise it's stressful. It and I helped you with that a little bit, didn't yes, I? Yes, absolutely. I, mean, I think that is a really, really, really important tip. That before you go to sleep at night, you decide what you're going to wear the next day. And very important, Think of all the things you have to do that day. Mm -hmm. and yeah, because so you, you know what you're going to you do. Know you know what the weather's going to exactly. be because yes. you watch today's yeah. TMJ4 yeah. meteorologist. <laughs> there you, go. you know, right? <laughs> no, and you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. 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 Classy, yes. <laughs> and, um, and then, you know, you also you wear something that's going to work for everything that next yeah. day. So you're not changing clothes. Unless, of course, it's a drastic from you work to, to a cocktail party. Right, but exactly. You have to. Okay, okay, buy something outside your comfort zone, you say, and don't, you say don't obsess about your clothes, which you already mentioned at the beginning, mm -hmm. but buy out so, something outside your comfort zone, but not necessarily something that's not age appropriate or whatever. Not mm -hmm. wacky. What I say here is to go to a store that you trust, salespeople that you like, and say, okay, you know what, I just want to like move the needle a little bit here. What would you suggest? Because you help me all the time, you know what I have in my closet. Mm -hmm. What would you suggest I buy? And I, like I have a prediction that you will end up loving that piece. See? And getting lots of compliments. Mm -hmm. See, I like that. All right, mm -hmm. we have a bunch of stuff we want to share with people because you have Party with a Purpose. It's happening Thursday, mm -hmm. February 5th from 5 to 8 p.m. Put it on your calendar. It's at phase, and 20% of proceeds will be donated to ABC, which is after breast cancer diagnosis. There will be music. There will be appetizers from Sendix. There will be a silent auction. Lots of great stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Then an afternoon tea and fashion show. Friends of St. Catharines have this going on Saturday, February 7th at 1 p.m. That's at the Women's Club of Wisconsin, where Faye is a member. It's a beautiful joint. It's $65 for adults and just $35 for children. A fun afternoon tea there. You can find May Faye's, sorry, and in, Faye. Faye <laughs> in Mequon as well as Brookfield. And Faye's123.com is a great place to go for her fashion newsletter. Check it out. You'll get lots of great ideas. Always awesome Thanks, to Faye. see you. Happy New Year. I like those, those resolutions. resolutions. Let's, stick, let's stick to them. Let's okay. try our All best. Right. We'll try our best. Well, we